Hey everyone, Bo here from BZ Hub. Wanted to get into this tripod and tree stand DLC. I'm looking around, I see posts on the Hunter International Facebook page. Everyone seems to think this is a great DLC, a great addition to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And speaking of additions, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to start a playlist of my favorite locations to use these tripods and tree stands? So I thought, well, the, the first one I should probably get into is the one I used in the DLC beta, and that is this location right here in Layton Lake. So let's get into it. If you haven't been made aware of this location, then this is going to be a treat. This is a huge spot in Layton Lake. It's where two areas of land bridge together and lots of animals travel between them. You can see here right in High Lake, right on the corner of this oddly shaped island there, wink wink, um, you'll find that lots of deer, lots of elk travel between this little stint of land here to get from one big area to another and you'll be right there in the middle of it getting lots of fantastic shots either with your bow either with a handgun or a rifle at close range though this is also a fantastic location to find deer and elk on the side of the river or lakes if you want to call them that and it's just a fantastic spot altogether. So what I recommend is grabbing a tent, coming down here to this island and finding this little spot, little grove in between the trees and plopping down your tent, putting a tripod in between this little opening so that you can see both the right and left sides, making sure that any little elk coming down the little pathway is in open range for you to take out with your high powered rifle without a scope. I'm doing some some awesome voiceover right here. Oh, it's taken off. Oh, get it past me. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Wow. If only I could do that all the time. Uh, but yes, put down this tent, put down your tripod, and pretty much just wait there. The thing is, with this location, if they're not at a need zone, if they've got to travel to a need zone, if you know that they're going to be at a water uh, drinking and they're going to be uh, eating say um <laughs> so okay so say they're eating right now and you know that they're going to be drinking at five o'clock so you sleep to five o'clock well those animals now have to move to that need zone and if it involves them crossing in that little gap way right there they're gonna come right towards you so this is great for when you're uh, time traveling <laughs> to the future uh, to to get different animals in different need zones because this is like a highway for the animals and they're gonna come right in front of you diamonds golds whatever it may be and it's just a fantastic location so that sums it up for me and our first location here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe as always. If you didn't, you know what to do. But if you are looking forward to more videos like this from me, make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell so that you know whenever I have a video come out and you'll be able to see which locations I'm using for my tripods and tree stands, but I'd love to hear about yours in the comments and maybe I'll feature it in one of my videos. So, as always everyone, keep hunting. See ya!